talking about the Reaper 6 by Schecter. I think this was a Guitar Center limited run. And this one came in very different options. You have the charcoal black, you have the blue, you got the orange, um, you got the green as well. Um, and these guitars came out, I think, in 2019. Um, these are very nice, very reminiscent of the Ibanez RG D uh, with the pebble exposed to, to the natural wood and all of that stuff. I know Kiso did the same thing and all of that stuff. These guitars are very nice. You know, some of them are bolted. This one is a sec neck, string through body. Um, you know, I keep this guitar stuck. I think the pickups sound very nice and all of that stuff. Um, you get a three-way um, switch, blade switch. Um, you get a push pull on the tone. You get a uh, Schecter pickups and Schecter tuners, Schecter um, tailpiece and all of that stuff. You got a side neck, like I said, maple, rosewood, and maple. Um, you get you know ash body with a poplar, poplar. Um, top um, very nice and those two combines you know you get something nice looking like this uh, we got a ebony fretboard with uh, offset um, dots and all of that stuff probably the nicest touch on this guitar is the matching headstock um, you get a reverse headstock as well I like the combination of nickel and black hardware for this guitar um, this is a very light guitar. You get some nice bevels and all of that stuff in here. 24 frets, very easy access for your shredders and all of that stuff. A thin neck, very thin and fast. You get a you know, nice blue and all that stuff. The Reaper models are very nice in general. They come in in seven strings as well, multi-scale. Um, they also come in with a Floyd. Mine in particular, doesn't go out of tune but i do can say my switch blade switch it does have some issues from the beginning where i got this guitar i got this guitar used so i don't know if it was like that from factory or if the previous owner uh will beat the hell out of this blade switch and all that stuff uh but that's the only thing that i have with my particular one you know your mileage may vary um and in terms of the pickups, you know, the pickups are very nice. What are the pickups called though? I forgot. I really forgot what the pickups are called. They really sound very nice. That's why I've really never thought about um, swapping them out or anything like that because I feel like these pickups sound very aggressive, uh, especially drop D I use. Um, 11 through 56 for drop D and just in general as a whole it sounds very nice um, we do get some diamonds decimator um, for both the C6 Reaper and the Reaper 6 which is this model and the Reaper C6 is just the bolted version of this one but it has a few different tops and you know, all like poplar tops but you know the whole finishes throughout the whole body and all the, they look nice as well you cannot go wrong with a Reaper 6 or a C6 or whatever Reaper model there is out there because there is quite a few in terms of finishes and scale length and all that stuff. Um, you know, if it's the 7 string or multi scale one. This one is crafted in Indonesia, and I think all Indonesian instruments, for the most part, in my opinion, have been nice with the quality and all of that stuff. Um, you know, this is like an $800 guitar, brand new. Um, I keep strap locks in almost all my guitars because, you know, it's a very safe way to keep your guitar, you know, not falling off the straps and all of that stuff. For some guitars, I make an exception because, uh, I don't know, if, it depends on what the guitar makes me feel. Uh, but eventually I'll probably have all my guitars with strap locks anyway because it's just a lot more safer that way. I think I'll just wrap it up here. Uh, thank you for watching. This is all for this episode and I'll see you in the next one.